There's been a resurgence of controversy over welcomes to country. Now, as I've often said here and as I've, I wrote on the weekend, sometimes they're overdone and sometimes they're overly political and sometimes they're just too long and boring. But done in the right way at the right time, I, I think they're great. I think they're inclusive, educational and all that. But what I can't really understand is why people got angry about the particular ceremony that prompted the latest round of acrimony. It was at the AFL final between the Giants and the Lions the weekend before last. Have a listen. I'm here this evening to perform a ceremony, a ceremony of welcome to country. A welcome to country is not a welcome to Australia. Within Australia, we have many Aboriginal lands and we refer to our lands as country. So it's always a welcome to the lands you're gathered on. A welcome to country is not a ceremony that we've invented to cater for white people. It's a ceremony we've been doing for 250,000 years plus BC. And the BC stands for before Cook. Yeah, now I thought that was terrific, but others didn't. Let me bring in Pauline Hanson, who wants people to turn their backs on welcomes to country ceremonies. So thanks for joining us again, Pauline. What didn't you like about that particular Hi, welcome to country? Well, come on, Chris, he says, for, for the start, it's 250,000 years. When I was growing up, it was 20,000, then 40,000, then 60, 65,000. Yeah, we know that's right, we, we know that. Now, 250,000. OK, yeah. stop exaggerating yeah, 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 and, and telling yeah. people this. Fair There's point. another thing there. It's not there for the white people, all right? Mm. Well, who the hell am I? I'm sick of the racist connotations no, but... all the time. We can't say anything about it. I'm a called racist if I criticise anything to do with Aboriginality. And yet, you know, to make these comments and I have been I was born here for Christ's sake where's my connection to the land why do I have to acknowledge that they were here and respect elders past present and emerging you don't respect people because you've got to tell them that people have to earn respect I think it's divisive I'm offended by it I'm sick of hearing about it I think it's tokenistic and it was actually not a common thing at the time a lot of the tribes fought with each other they didn't sure. welcome each other to the country now, you know, I'm over I, it. I really think that you and many others, in, in relation to this particular Welcome to Country ceremony by Brendan Kerrin, have completely misunderstood what he was saying. Now, I've never spoken to him, I don't know the bloke, but what he was saying there, he was hitting back at this divisiveness where people say, I don't need to be welcomed into my own country. He's saying, no, that's not what the ceremony is. The ceremony's not Aboriginal. He's saying, welcome to white people to Australia. He's saying that country means the various areas of Australia and, and it's a welcome to everyone, a brown, white, black, brindle, whoever's here at this footy game or this, or this meeting, welcome to this particular country. We call this country Gadigal land of, or Ghana land. He's, he's actually explaining that to people and I think so many people have taken the opposite meaning from it. Chris, when you actually land and they say this is the land of such and su such and such a tribe, that's going back, what, over a couple of hundred, 250 years ago. We've got to move on from there to say it every time. The politicians get up and they say it one after another. You know, I hear from people and corporations that they've got to say it on a Teams meeting, council meetings, everywhere like this. You know, people are just fed up. They're over it. Look, I talk look, to people out in the you're... street. I actually get on my Facebook page. People are over it. This is my country as well. Make me feel welcome as well. Yeah, but, but I, I'm on a unity ticket with you there, right? Because uh, um, I wrote in my article about how I jumped on a bus to the airport in Melbourne and I get a welcome to country. And, and at, when you go to a function where there's, you have an Indigenous person do a welcome, then every speaker who gets up, ten, 10 of them in a row afterwards, feel they need to do the same thing. I, I mean, I think, I think there's too much of it. I think sometimes it's right out of context. But in this case, and I think it's really important because so many people have attacked this, his point is saying it's not about welcoming white people to Australia. It's not welcome to the country country of Australia, it's welcome to Gadigal country or Ghana country or, 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 or Aranta country and, and it's welcome to everybody there regardless of their, co their colour. So I think it's been misinterpreted. Do you concede when you say people should turn their backs on it, is that a rhetorical flourish or are you serious or you don't concede that there are some events where it's a good thing to have? 
at uh, very few events if they want to have it at Aboriginal conventions or that type of thing, fair enough, but I will not have it. And I turn my back on it on the floor of Parliament because I just do not accept it and uh, I am so over it and I feel... I'm, I'm just so offended by this because they're not willing to acknowledge that we are Australians here. Even those people that migrated here, we're Australians together, acknowledge us. You know, if we want to do acknowledgement, then acknowledge the, the men and women that sacrifice their lives defending our freedom and our yeah. way of life. That would go down a lot better with most Australians. Well, you know, we see this different. I, know, I, I agree that it's overdone and sometimes it's too radical, but in the, the instance that we heard there from Brendan Kieran, it's like, welcome all of us. We're all here to this particular land and let's have a good game and I find that really good and, 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 and I like to know which are the different uh, language groups, which are the different bits of country uh, around Australia just in terms of history. Just very briefly on another issue while I got a chance, uh, negative gearing yep. and uh, real investment, uh, real estate investment taxes, would you be and One Nation be brokering any changes there? No, not at all. Um, most of the investments comes from those mums and dads that, who are police nurses or those yeah. tradies that actually go and put investment. If we took them out of the market, we wouldn't have the investment properties there. Also, Fennel Benisi wants to, to do something about it, cut back on immigration and stop foreign ownership of our housing in Australia. That would... Um, address the matter and take off the um, GST off the building of houses, which about 40 45% of new houses is, is GST. Spot Taxes. on, Pauline. You nailed all the key points in about 30 seconds. Thanks for joining us again. I appreciate it. Pauline Hanson there, the One Nation founder and leader.